Hi everyone, I'm Julie and welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I have another winter giveaway and I'm really excited because I was afraid that if I was afraid that because of the circumstances that she might fall behind in in her interaction with me, but she has been so prolific about her sharing with me, you know, sharing of me rather, that she won anyway. So Lynette McGee, you are my winner. I will put her name down below. Um, text me your, or get me your address and I will ship your package out tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, Lacey gets hers last month's winner before you get yours. I don't want to go non-international, but man, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, um, congratulations, Lynette. Uh, I will put her link down below for all of my viewers. She is a beautiful gal that um, she makes videos as well. She's got this long, gorgeous black hair that is just fantastic. And, and she's just very, very soft-spoken and um, eloquent, and, and I just love her to death. I, I really, really enjoy her. I enjoy her videos, and um, I, I was wondering, you know, she she recently lost her grandmother, and, and she talks about that in her videos, and so when she went away for a while, I kind of thought, uh-oh, she's going to fall down, and, you know, because I've got one of those programs that keeps track of who is interactive with me the most on YouTube or any other social media, and I was going to actually videotape that and show you guys, but I forgot. And so I will do it next by the time of this taping. I forgot. I'm not going to stop and do that real quick. So um, I will do it next month and show you guys that um, that's how I'm picking my winners, who is being mo the most interactive with me, sharing my videos, commenting, blah, blah, blah. So, um... Lynette McGee is my winner, and I am so excited. I will get your package out to you as soon as you get um, your address to me, hun. And thank you so much for being so supportive. Um, I am equally supportive, uh, supportive of your channel, just as I am my last month's winner, Lacey. Um, I love you both to death. So next month will be again on April 19th, and good luck, everybody. Now, I have a small little haul for you today, and I haven't hauled for a while, so... <laughs> give me this one, please. Just one. And I promise I won't all for like, you know, at least until my mail packages come in the mail. <laughs> I got a big package coming from Tarte that I just can't wait for. Anyway, so I went to Ulta. I stopped at the dollar store because I always like to stop there and see what kind of new makeup they have in. And they did. They had these Physicians Formulas in. And they're the uh, mineral wear for extra sensitive eyes or contact lens wears. And you see the little container is, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, it look like a, looks like a contact box. I remember seeing these on the shelf at, you know, drugstores just, what was it, last year? Just last year. And I got a few of those to go with the, um, in my giveaway boxes. But let me find the dang thing. Oh, and here it is, okay? And I kept one for myself. Now, when you open up the bottom, it's got a little mirror and a brush, and it's not even a sponge tip. It's an actual little brush, which is really cool. See that little brush there? I like that. And you've got a nice big mirror right there. Okay, and then you flip it over, and there are your shades. And they are the prettiest taupes. Um, this one here is, and this is kind of peculiar, but this one over here just comes off as a really nice taupe. Um, this one here is a very, very nice shadow. This one here is a much lighter taupey color, but it almost feels like cream to powder. It's not. It's powder, but it almost feels like cream to powder. It's very soft and and smooth, which, of course, makes it come off a little bit flaky, but nothing, nothing that bothers me. And those are the colors. How nice are those, right? Are you seeing that white one? No, I didn't get that one too much because I didn't want it to break all off. There you go. Look at how nice are those. I mean, they're really, really pretty. I'm really happy that I got them, actually. So, yeah, I got them. Um, I only got three of them. No, four of them. So I only got four of those. And then I got, and I remember these from years past. What they're doing on the shelf at, at the dollar store, <laughs> I don't know. But I got them anyways. Do these look familiar to anybody? <laughs> oh, those are the same one. I got those three, and then this one here. Now, this one is a white, 
um, a white, a real deep purple, a little lesser purple, kind of a mauve color, or no, not a white, and then a hot pink. Okay? And I opened one. I kept one and opened it. And these are wet and wild, and they're old, old packaging. Um, God knows how old the shadows are, but um, they've got beautiful pigmentation. They're pretty flaky, though, i got to say. They're, they're pretty flaky. <clears throat> I'll show you those real quick. Um, the the color is great. You know, just don't put your foundation on first. And I want y'all to know that when I do this and I show you these things that I get from the dollar store for my giveaways, okay, I'm not just giving you a couple items, cheap items from the dollar store, okay? These are just like odds and ends I like to throw in there so you guys can test out some things I've gotten, you know? Um, but yeah, you're not just getting a couple cheesy little one dollar items from the dollar store, you know, and you're getting a big package full of goodies. Um, I just like to throw in the stuff I find that's only a buck and, you know, score is all. So just so that you guys know that. But if you see, um, did I even just show you that? Good grief. I wiped it off my hand without even showing you. Holy crap. Oh yeah, these are really, really powdery, you guys. Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, the, the color is beautiful, but man, they are really powdery. I might, yeah, I showed you. Just since I stuck my hand up there, I should, I remembered. But look at, can you see that in the compact? Super, super powdery. But like I said, the color's there. Um, just don't do your face first. <laughs> if I send these out, and I will because I got one here that has white, really pretty blue. And then a navy blue and then a black below. And I will never use these colors, ever. The white, but none of the blues or nothing like that. So I might as well throw it in a box for somebody. And then I got this one, and I'm not going to swatch it because I will not use these colors either. So I will be giving this to somebody. And it's, um, you know, it's a smoky eye. It's got the white there, and then this one's kind of a silver. And then that middle one there almost actually, dang it! Oh, I must have bumped it somewhere. No, nope, I guess I'm keeping this one. Can't give it away if it's been touched. Now, yeah, might as well show you them, right? <laughs> might as well. Oh my gosh, look at that black. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, well, let me get a little bit more of the white on there. Wowza. And you can see how powdery they are, but man, the pigmentation is absolutely there. They're just really, um, really dusty. So I'll be keeping that one anyway. So the only two I've got to give away of these are these colors here and these ones. But hey, you know, they're only a buck, but throw them in as just like extra little goodies on the side. You know what I mean? So, and then I purchased, and I have one of these, and I'm not going to open this because um, I've got one. And I love it, so I'm not going to open this one, but I actually purchased this for somebody that I'm going to be sending her. Because she's sending me a package, completely unsolicited, just out of the blue, says, Hey, honey, I picked this up for you because she knew I couldn't get it around town. So I picked up some things as well that I am sending her. And this is one of them. This is Salma Hayek, the Salma Hayek line. And this one is her eyeshadow quad in natural. And it comes in these cool little um, flower bloom things. And then you open them up. See the petals, I guess, is what they are. The edges come out like this. Now, I have tried, you know, the entire line, foundation and everything. And I actually even made a video on that. If you guys want to see it, I will edit it and put it up. I just never did because... There, it, you just don't see it much on YouTube. And I figured it wasn't... Um, I don't know. I just never did. So, if you guys want to see... The review that I made of all of the Salma Hayek line, because I got a blush, a bronzer, the foundation, um, the eyeshadows. I got several of the lipsticks of the products, and I actually made a video of it. I just never did anything with it. So if you want to see it, let me know. But these are the colors that come in this in this blooming flower. And then it's got this little thing here comes out, and it's a sponge tip applicator. Let me show you these pretty colors. I really didn't want this video to be very long beyond the, you know, telling people about my giveaway. But look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I love them. But you know, I love my wine colors. Absolutely love them. 
But yeah, that's what I'm giving this to um, somebody. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to ruin it. She probably knows who it is anyway. And then I grabbed me an Anastasia dip brow pomade. Thanks again, Laura. Thanks very much, Lori. That's your fault. And then I got me a little thing of argan oil that I put in my little jar here. And I mix some um, essential oils that are good for hair growth and stuff. I got that and I put it in there to mix up because I was out. And then I got three of the... And these are actually um, what I don't have. Now I've got the whole collection, I guess, all of them. But I got the remaining three primary colors from NYX that I didn't have. And I never I never hauled the other ones. <laughs> I just didn't make a video of that haul. So, But these are the three primaries that I got. Now, if you guys haven't seen these, oh, 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 I don't know who hasn't, though. You know, I mean, if you, what rock do you live under if you haven't seen the, the new NYX um, <clears throat> primary shadows? But I'll show them to you because they're so pretty. What time? 11? Okay. So this is the pink one. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. They're really, really pretty. They're a bit dry. A little bit dry, but, you know, they're not dusty. Um, the other ones that I've played with, I haven't seen any kind of fallout on my face too much or anything. So I'm happy enough about them. Um, but these are only five bucks, and that's a big-ass pan of pan of eyeshadow so now I got this one for one particular reason and that is to push into my eyebrow into my eyelashes you know because I am just destroying my Naked Basics pack um, palette by using the black one in there for that purpose so that's what I got this black for and look at that that is like midnight very very good very good black look at that holy crap that just totally canceled out anything under my Wow, that looks like, um, you know what, that is so black, it looks like uh, if you put your hand down in a candle to light it, you know, and the charcoal off the side gets on your hand, that's what that, that's how black that is, that's pretty awesome, man. Okay, and then I got, and that was the, okay, I'm sorry, that was the hot pink, or, yeah, hot pink, this was obviously the black, hot black, and this is hot orange, I guess they're all hot, I didn't know that. Oh, loving the orange. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Now, no, I will not wear these. <laughs> well, I might. You never know. Probably not, though. Um, I got these for, I got the primary colors because I have, um, I have a lot of girls in my, uh, my client base. I have a lot of young girls. <clears throat> Pardon me. How to get me a wet wipe so I could wipe my hand off. Oh my gosh, look at that. And those freaking wet and wild shadows are sticking to the back of my hand. That's cool. Okay, and then, even though I knew better, because Emily Noel said long ago that she did not care for these. And what did I do? I got them anyway. Not all of them, just a few of them. And I, I won't take them back because I've already smashed my finger in them, but I'm not real happy with them. Um, I got three of the Almay Smoothie um, Softy Shadows. And I'm not happy with them because let me show you this. Now this is the darkest one, okay? And this one is, uh, well, I don't know. It's purple. These feel really good. They really do. But look at this, okay? I am rubbing my finger in that around and around and around. And look, I mean, the pigmentation just is not there. And then this one here is um, a pink, and it is, like, almost non-existent. It's just, you can't even see it on my skin hardly. You can see the shimmer a little bit right there, but that's it. And like I said, I, I knew Emily didn't care for these, but the colors were so pretty. I got them anyway. Yeah, and see? Can you even see that on my finger? You can see the, the sheen, but that's it. You can't see any color. So, not real happy with those. But, I do have a couple um, gals that will appreciate those. So, yeah. And then I got um, the only Essence shadow that I don't have, and that is the yellow. <laughs> not that I'll never use this on myself. I don't look good in yellow at all. But look at that. How pretty is that? I know a lot of people don't like these Essence shadows, but I really like them. 
Um, they do have some fallout, but... And then I did get from Almay, which I do like this product. <clears throat> um, it is their... Well, it's their, just their dual um, uh, concealer and under eye palette. And it's much... It's very, very, very much comparative to the um, Benefits... Um, uh, what is it called? The Benefits Boing... Boing, Boeing, or whatever it's called. So this is the Almay one, and this is Benefit. So yeah, very comparative. Um, and and I like the Almay. Actually, I like the Almay better than I like the Benefit. The Benefit is is quite dry for me. Um, the Almay is a lot smoother and um, moister, you know. So I got that, and then I got, and I'm almost done. And then I got me a couple uh, single nicks which I got to depot. Um, this is their new ones. Look at these cute packages. And and I know that they their new line came out and they have all these on them, but I don't want to depot them now because of the little bow. <laughs> okay, this one is called Whipped Cream, and it is just a stark white matte. Stark matte white. Love, love, love it. I got that specifically to put right underneath my eyebrow right there. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. I'm sorry. Yep, I got this for one reason only, and that's to put right there. Although, oh yeah, I got to work with that a bit. <laughs> well, now I look, well, that's not too bad. A little clownish, but not too bad. I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but yep, that's what I got that for. Okay, and then I got Luxor, a beautiful purple. And that is that color. And this is really pretty. It almost looks like an iridescent purple. But it comes off almost matte. Almost matte. And it's kind of odd to get a color like that in, in you know, matte. If you can see that right there. Do you see how that has just got the slightest little bit of sheen to it? But it's it's just a beautiful, um, you know what that is? A radiant orchid. That's what that is. That is Radiant Orchid in a nice matte, almost matte color. And then I got Highlight. This is called Highlight. And I got this one for my under eyebrow as well. And that's that one. And then I got one of these cute little bows. And this one is Coquette. And I've got, a, I've got several of these, but um, these are always sold out. <laughs> in our Ulta. So when I see them down there, I grab it. And this is just a, a really um, light taupe color. And that's that right there. But I go through this shadow so much. And not even on myself. I don't even wear it. It doesn't show up on my skin. I'm too dark skinned. Okay, and then I got um, LOL. I love this color. Love, love, love. This looks good on my skin. And I did get this one for my personal use. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A nice, pretty, um, make a beautiful, beautiful transition color for a nice copper eye. <clears throat> and then I got Frosted Lilac. And that's just a purple. Mm, I'm all dirty. You can tell I've been to Ulta. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Purples, I just love purples. I cannot pass up a purple shadow. I have a palette that's all purple. <laughs> I call it the purple palette. And this is True Taupe. And I got this specifically for one of my clients that is very, very fair. And I got this to um, uh, <laughs> help me out here, people, um, to contour. That's the only reason why I got it. Um, I would never use it. This color doesn't really show up on me. It hardly even shows up on the tip of my finger. And then one last, and I'm done, and this is Sensual. And I didn't have to show you swatches of all this, but I wanted to. And that's that one right there. Okay, so that's all I got. And, oh, wait a minute. No, it isn't. <laughs> Stay away from these. Okay, this is a don't get. I got these at the dollar store as well. These are the e.l.f. Duo Eyeshadow Creams. And they've been down there before. And it comes on the package just like that. You know, obviously I already ripped it off. But um, 
I've seen these down there before, and these are on the website as well. So, um, <laughs> cream eyeshadow, okay? Now, I'm expecting it to be something very much like their smudge pot or, you know, any kind of cream eyeshadow, but this is not. This is like a lip gloss. Seriously, this is a lip gloss. Look, can you see it on my fingers? For one thing, there's almost no pigmentation. And then I put it on my hand, and you can barely see it there, and it never sets up beyond that glossy lip gloss. It's a lip gloss. I don't even know why they're calling it a, a cream eyeshadow. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I left it sitting on the back of my hand for ever. <laughs> Forever. And it never really set up. It never, it just stayed tacky like lip gloss. It was like lip gloss. So if you see these down at your dollar store or on the e.l.f. website, do not get them because they blow really bad. Okay, that is all I got, folks. And um, congratulations, Lynette, for being my March giveaway winner. I love you all so much. I hope all of you do my tag that I tagged. Um, you know, come on, you got to give a new girl a break, please. <laughs> if I tagged you, I have been watching you for a very long time, and I'm a devoted fan. I might not comment as, as much as a lot of other people, but, um, you know, raising a four-year-old at my age, I barely find time to even YouTube, much less comment on everybody's pages that I go to in a day. So, um, I really do hope everybody does that tag. I think that I think that it'll be informative for, for us all. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.